Hi. Today's video is going to be a little bit different because we need to talk. Um, I've been called many things um, throughout my long 24 years of my life. Um, I've been called silly, um, been called stupid at times, a freak of nature, um, but one thing that repeatedly comes up of in the name calling department is that I'm a what's called a Disney freak and I, I'd have to disagree with you on that. Um, I clearly have a healthy love for Disney. Um, I don't know what they're going off about when they say um, that it's a problem or however you want to put it but I think it, people people should like be able to like what they like and clearly uh, there's nothing there's nothing wrong with um, what we're witnessing right here let me just take a sip of my Disney themed coffee mug Yeah, I don't, I don't see what the issue is. Oh my God, I don't even know how many pairs of ears I just somehow put all over my body, but <laughs> I hope you liked that. <laughs> so, hi, um, in case you're not sure <laughs> what's going on, um, in, what day is it today? I think it's May, it's mid, it's mid, mid May, and in about three weeks time, I'm going to Disneyland and I am so excited. I've talked about this upcoming trip like many times in my live streams and my videos, but I'm really excited and Spencer's excited and we're just, we're getting pumped up for, for the trip. So, um, I wanted to do something that I've never done before. Um, some people don't know this. If you're, if you don't care about Disney, then I don't know why you're here. But anyways, um, basically, um, at the Disney parks, you can give specific gift items to the Disney characters. Now, you can't like go buy an iPad and go up to Mickey Mouse and be like, here's an iPad, like they will refuse that. But they love, the characters love accepting homemade um, gifts. So what I thought of doing is from my stash video, I have a lot of um, unlicensed Disney artwork. And so I thought, why not go through as many as the, of those Disney diamond paintings that I can. Hi, Henry, he's in the corner now. Um, try to finish as many as I can so that, I, so that during my trip, I can give them as gifts to the characters and I'll feel good about doing it. And if you guys have a problem with me showcasing these Disney licensed artwork, um, or unlicensed artwork, excuse me, um, it's a fun little Disney thing to give to the characters and it's a positive thing. Let's make this a fun positive thing. Um, and so with that being said, um, once we go on our trip, you guys are gonna get like four videos for each, or maybe even five videos for each day of um, the trip. And you guys get to see me giving the diamond paintings to the characters. So I'm really excited to see um, where this goes. And yeah, so um, I'm a little late to the game just a lot of things are happening in life right now, but I have started on one of the diamond paintings that I wanted to do. And so now it's time to kick it up a notch and just go ahead and do as many as we can and show you guys the process. And along the way, I'll show you guys, you know, me prepping for the trip and all of that. So I'm excited. Anyways, um, without further ado, let's get started. And I'll show you the first one that I'm gonna be showing you guys. Anywho, okay. So the first one that you guys are going to be watching me work on is Sorcerer Mickey. Um, up to this point, I haven't filmed any of this progress, so I'll have to show you guys the rest of it. Um, but this is it so far. This is where we're starting off with me um, filming it for you guys. Oh God, I'm trying to not make this a stressful thing. It's supposed to be fun. Just get as many done as I can without pushing myself too hard, if that makes sense. <laughs>
hello. <laughs> um, okay, so quick update. Mickey, Sorcerer Mickey is all done. Um, you guys will definitely get close up looks at all of these, but he turned out beautiful. Really happy with how that looks. And we are now working on the Mickey, Donald, and Goofy Dapper Dance. And my plan with filming all of these different diamond paintings that I'm doing is um, in my own free time off camera, I'm just kind of doing the boring parts um, just to keep this video hopefully not too long. I mean, I am notorious for doing longer videos, but that's besides the point. Um, so basically for this one, for instance, um, I'm trying to basically do the area all around the characters so that um, when I work on the characters on camera, it's just in more interesting for you guys to watch or listen to. I don't know. You guys watch my videos however you feel like. <laughs> um, so yeah, so working on, work <laughs> working on this one. Um, this one shouldn't take too long. And, oh, I just, I'm just gonna keep working. And um, in the meantime, I'm gonna show you guys um, the four or five, excuse me, five different Disney bounds that um, I'll be wearing at the um, at the parks. And in case I haven't explained this um, earlier, but if you don't know what a Disney bound is, it's basically where, um, okay, a better way to explain this. Um, at the Disney parks, adult, um, you know, people over the age of 14 are not allowed to wear um, costume items at the parks. So if you're, you know, over the age of 14, um, you cannot show up wearing a full ball gown like Cinderella. And that is because Disney is very um, particular about their um, character integrity. And basically they just don't want guests to be confused and see a guest dressed as Cinderella, but then see the actual Cinderella and just be confused. But there is what's called Disney bounding where you can put article like regular clothing articles together to allude to the character. And um, in these outfits that I'll be wearing, you'll kind of see what I'm talking about. Um, so yeah, very, very excited for this trip. It's getting closer and closer. It's gonna be great. Okay, anyways, we're gonna keep working on this and I'll update you guys later. Okay, so I am currently pulling out all of my Disney bounds to show you guys. And yeah, I'll kind of, I have four, maybe five, potential Disney bounds that I'm wearing. And the reason why it's four, maybe five is Spencer and I were originally talking about wearing um, our classic Mickey and Minnie Disney bound um, during the day where, you know, after we drive down to the parks and we're walking around downtown Disney because we get there like super early in the morning. But I think Spencer was telling me that some of his Mickey Mouse clothes, um, they don't fit him anymore. <laughs> and he wasn't sure if um, it would be worth it to go buy the new clothes that would fit him if we're only wearing it for like a half day at Downtown Disney. So we'll see. We will have to play it by ear. Um, but yeah, so that's the fifth Disney bound if, um, if he decides to get all this stuff that he needs. It would be Minnie Mouse <laughs> um, with the classic Minnie Mouse and her red and white polka dot. Um, dress. I said polka dot really weird. I bet I can't wait to listen to that later. So yeah, I'm going to pull them out and show them to you. This first outfit is Steamboat Willie mini from the Steamboat Willie cartoon that they both debuted in. I got my gray polka dot skirt and these really adorable Steamboat Willie mini ears and I love them so much. When I think about the way we used to be, when I think about the
shaken but not stirred Just a lesson that I've learned And so it goes Tables turn this next outfit is Minnie's 1920s outfit that she wears at California Adventure. Um, it was my first time trying on the outfit, so I'm getting a pink skirt to put the fringe on top, but I love it and I'm really excited. This third outfit is Sorcerer Mickey. Um, Spencer and I are dressing up as um, Sorcerer Mickey and Maleficent from the show Fantasmic, and I really love the gold tassel.
And this last outfit is Kylo Ren from the Star Wars movies. And I am so excited to wear this in Galaxy's Edge. I really hope I can meet the actual Kylo Ren and show him this cool outfit of mine. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. I am so excited for my um, Disney trip. Um, Wednesday, June 15th is when um, we'll be driving down. And then we're at the parks June 16th, 17th, 18th, and 19th. And June 20th, we um, drive back home. And oh, I'm so excited. Um, after this trip, I'm honestly not sure when I'll be able to go to Disney yet, but, or to Disney next, excuse me. But um, that just kind of makes the excitement build up even more because um, the last time um, I've been to Disney, you know, before this June trip was um, December. So it's been like a, good, a solid six months. So it'll probably be maybe around the same time or even longer when I can go next, but who knows. But I am kind of thinking about, um, like Spencer and I really want to do a Disney World trip, which would be so much fun. We would be there for like probably like two weeks, honestly. Um, or um, a Disney cruise, which we can make it a shorter trip because the Disney cruise is like, you can't pick exactly how long um, the days are or yeah, how many days you are spending on the boat. And then um, we also really want to do um, an Aulani trip, which if you don't know, that's the Disney resort in, um, oh my God, Hawaii, <laughs> which that one, I think out of all of them would probably be the most expensive trip, but that'd be really fun. And of course you want to like go to the Disney parks around the world, but you know, that'll be for a way later time. I don't know what I'm trying to say, but yeah, thank you so much for watching me work on these diamond paintings and I'm so excited to give them to the um, characters and the cast members. So yeah, um, okay, I will see you guys next week. Have a good one, guys. Bye.